three, two, one, let's go! What's good, family? Today is Tuesday, February the 6th, and this is your brother Adam with the Watchman Adam News Channel, back with our end time news update. Family, let's go! Guys, we want to say thank you for tuning back in with us today. As always, your love and support of this channel means the world to us. Thank you so much. And before we get to this video, if you could give it a thumbs up and make sure you got that notification bell turned on, that way you'll be notified every time we upload an end time video. Now, while we're an end time news channel, the ultimate mission of this channel is to point you to our creator, the Most High God, and his son, Jesus. And family, nothing says it better than John 3.16. For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever believeth in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. And family, that son's name is Jesus, and guess what? He's coming back for his church soon. And family, that's facts. Now to today's end time news update. Alrighty family, we're back with an end time news update. And guys, since our last update, there's been a lot of stuff go down in this world, and we're going to be looking at it today. But family, it becomes more apparent by the day that we are honestly living in the biblical last days. Family, we are seeing the convergence of Bible prophecy on a scale like this world's never seen before. So family, what you say without further delay, let's get into our end time news update. Because you can truly see Bible prophecy in today's headline news. Okay, headline number one is from the Times of Israel on February 4th. And this end time headline reads... Israel sees 14 straight days of rainfall for first time in over 30 years. So family, Israel has seen 14 straight days of rainfall in the north and south part of the country for the first time since February of 1992. Something the Israel Meteorological Service called a rain of blessing because the persistent rain allows rainwater to seep into the ground, enriching natural water ground sources. Now, coastal areas in Israel saw moderate flooding, and the constant rain has caused the Sea of Galilee to rise 10.2 inches, and the rain is expected to last till Wednesday evening. Family, lots of crazy weather going down in Israel. About a month ago, they actually had snowfall in Israel, and family, that's kind of rare. Now, let's jump to headline number two, and it comes from Newsweek on February 3rd, and this end time headline reads... Pope Francis, rebellion grows as 90 Catholic figures sign Scadden letter. Okay, family, check this out. So a group of 90 Catholic clergymen, scholars, and authors have published a joint letter to all cardinals and bishops of the Catholic Church, urging them to oppose a Vatican document approved by Pope Francis that allows priests to bless alphabet community relationships for the very first time. Now, this all stems from Vatican doctrine the Pope released on December 18th that allows cardinals and bishops to bless ABC community relationships. In the letter of opposition that was published on LifeSiteNews.com, they say the document signed by the Pope on December 18th is dangerous and against the Church's Judeo-Christian values, and they ask cardinals and bishops to forbid immediately the application of this document in your diocese. Those who have signed the open letter include Gil Bailey, a member of the Fellowship of Catholic Scholars, Dr. Regis Martin, a professor of theology at Franciscan University Stubbenville, and Reverend Robert Sirico, president of the Catholic St. John Henry Newman Institute in Michigan. Family, all I can really say is good for them for speaking up against this evil document the Pope signed. Now let's jump to headline number three. And it comes from the New York Times on February 5th, and this end time headline reads, For California, one of the most dramatic weather days. Now family, in one of our updates last week, we talked about the Pineapple Express, which was said to bring absolutely insane weather to California and the United States as it works its way across the country. And family, millions were warned about this system, and millions are still under a severe weather advisory. Now, parts of California have been hit with heavy rain, which led to flooding. And some parts of California have been hit with heavy snow, 
and wind gusts have got between 45 miles per hour to 65 miles per hour. And as of Monday morning, 420,000 people in California were left without power and a state of emergency had been declared. And family, it's also been reported that 16 million people are under a rare risk of excessive rainfall. Family, we need to be praying for California. Now the headline number four. And it comes from 7 Israel National News on February 4th. And this end time headline reads, U.S. and Britain target areas in Middle East. Okay, family, the tense situation between the United States, United Kingdom, and the Houthis continues to escalate. Now, as you may know, the rebels have been targeting United States and United Kingdom vessels in the Red Sea for months now. Well, on Saturday, the United States and Britain announced they successfully hit 36 Houthi targets in Yemen. And family, they have also conducted successful operations against the Iranian-backed Houthis in Syria and Iraq, hitting 85 targets in them countries. Family, this situation continues to escalate, with the rebels now putting two United States and United Kingdom vessels near the Red Sea on alert. Family, it is very possible that this leads to something much bigger. Now the headline number five. And it comes from the American Media Group on February 3rd. And this end time headline reads, CBDCs and the 2030 Agenda, the under your skin, your future is being decided. Okay, we're going to read right from this article. Check this out. Waking up in the year 2030 may not look as far off as you think. The escalating significance of CBDCs and its supposed necessity for societal participation is both alarming and distressing. The unveiling of a potentially dystopian future could redefine the very essence of the freedom we've come to appreciate. And then the article says, Implanted under your skin. This phrase is not usually one we associate with monetary transitions or generally participation in society. Yet, the World Economic Forum audaciously makes the association with central bank digital currencies if you want to fully immerse in the societal norms of buying food, water, and other necessities. The WEF suggests you may soon require this new age monetary form to be installed beneath your skin. Family ain't no way, but let's go to the rest of the article. The advancements in technology and banking have indeed surpassed the imagination. But, as society leans towards an unprecedented shift, we turn to Scripture, Revelation 13, 15-17, as a stark reminder of the prophetic narrative. While it is not our aim to install fear or propagate conspiracy, it is important to critically examine the paths we tread. Now family, this article was interesting for multiple reasons. This does look a lot like Revelation 13. And family, I'm going to go on the record as stating there will never be no kind of microchip ever put anywhere inside my body. Family, I got a question. Do you think the mark of the beast will be a microchip implant? Let us know in the comment section below. Now let's jump to headline number 6. And it comes from CNN on February 6th. And this end time headline reads, King Charles III has cancer and will step back from his public duties. Now, family, before we get into this, I want to say this. No matter what you think about King Charles III, we don't wish this kind of stuff on nobody. So King Charles had to step back from public duties as he undergoes treatment for the big C. Charles, age 75, went to a London hospital for a routine corrective procedure for an enlarged prostate last month. And the hospital conducted labs and discovered that he had cancer, which has scared the royal family. Now, Prime Minister Rishi Sussnit said it was discovered early and recovery is very possible. And Buckingham Palace announced that Prince William will temporarily take up the royal duties. Family, no matter what you think about this man, let's be praying for him. Okay, family, now the headline number seven, and it comes from the Daily Signal on February 5th. And this end time headline reads, Gallagher Comer Sound Alarm on China spying on military bases. Oh boy, family, we gotta check this one out. I'm gonna read directly from the article. And the article says, The United States must take precautions to protect its military bases from spying by the Chinese Communist Party, two House chairmen told the Daily Signal on Monday. 
The CCP continues to surveil and probe American defenses, even here on U.S. soil. Republican Mike Gallagher, Republican Wisconsin, chairman of the House Select Committee on the Chinese Communist Party, told the Daily Signal in a written statement. And then the article goes on to say, that's why we need to take common sense precautions, like preventing CCP-linked entities from purchasing land near our military bases or other national security-related infrastructure, Gallagher said. Now, family, what Gallagher said, it actually makes a lot of sense. But now let's jump to the rest of this article. And it says the Daily Signal first reported Friday on documents obtained by the Heritage Foundation's Oversight Committee that reveal over a dozen reported incidents of Chinese nationals who sent drones over Joint Base Pearl Harbor hitmen to take photos and video of points of entry at the Hawaii base. We cannot allow the CCP to collect valuable intelligence here at home. They might leverage an event of a crisis, Gallagher said of the Chinese Communist Party. In October, the House Oversight and Accountability Committee launched an investigation of Chinese espionage at United States military installations, Chairman James Comer, Republican Kentucky, said. And then the article goes on to say this. Check this out. Reports of Chinese espionage on United States soil are deeply concerning, Comer told the Daily Signal on Monday, adding, The committee has met with department stakeholders and visited United States bases. And our investigation is ongoing. It is critical that we ensure the security of our most sensitive military installations and protect the service members operating within them. I totally agree with what he said. And then the article reads, Also in October, Cormer joined Republican Glenn Grothman, Republican Wisconsin, Chairman of House Oversight Subcommittee on National Security, the Border and Foreign Affairs, in sending a letter to Defense Secretary Lloyd Austin and FBI Director Christopher Wray. Now, family, this last part is interesting. Check this out. Chinese nationals, sometimes posing as tourists, have repeatedly assessed or attempted to assess U.S. military bases and other sensitive government facilities as often as 100 times in recent years. The two lawmakers wrote, Austin and Ray. And documents obtained by the Oversight Project from law enforcement at the Pearl Harbor military base include cases of Chinese nationals taking photos and video image of the base while claiming to be visitors. Something very fishy about that. Now, family, this article made me think about that Chinese spy balloon that flew across the United States. I think all of us remember that. Now, family, I served in the United States Army as a 92 Gulf, and I want to say this about our military bases. I was stationed at Fort Jackson for my basic training, Fort Lee, Virginia for my AIT, and I was active first. I went back to Fort Jackson for a little bit, and then I was assigned to a reserve unit, the 415th Chemical Brigade. And I only can speak about the time I was there, but our military bases were pretty secure. Random cars were checked for different devices as they were coming in, and I felt very safe there. Now, family, I'm going to get off subject for a little bit, but we're going to talk about what you see in that picture right there. That was, hands down, one of the worst days of my life. That is the NBC chamber, and it's something every recruit has to go through in basic training. If you guys have been in the military, you know exactly what I'm talking about. You go into the chamber wearing your gas mask, and then you have to take it off, say your social security name and the soldier's creed, and family, it's next to impossible. But one good thing about the NBC chamber, once you go through it, you're going to breathe good for a couple of days. But now let's get back to the subject. So the claims are being thrown out that the United States is being spied on by the Chinese Communist Party. And family, it wouldn't surprise me at all. And it makes me think about the situation at the southern border. You know, in December, like 300,000 people crossed illegally. Well, there's reports saying that a lot of the people crossing into the United States of America are Chinese and they're military-aged males. Family, think about that for a moment. Family, I got this bad feeling it's only a matter of time before something happens in this country. Now, if any of you guys served in the military, let us know in the comment section below and let us know what your MOS was. Like I said, I was a 92 Golf. I was a food service specialist. Okay, family, that's it for the headline reporting portion of this video. 
Now we're going to go to Volcanic Discovery and look at recent earthquake activity. So, in the past 24 hours, there were 940 earthquakes up to a magnitude 5.5. 572 quakes below a magnitude 2.0, 206 between a magnitude 2 to 3, 117 between a magnitude 3 to 4, 42 between a magnitude 4 to 5, and 3 above a magnitude 5. And in the past 24 hours, there have been 940 earthquakes. The past week, 7,932 earthquakes. The past month, 31,114 earthquakes. The past three months, there's been 99,266 earthquakes. The past year, 410,000 earthquakes. Past three years, 1,180,250 earthquakes. Past 10 years, 3,053,000 510 earthquakes. Family, that's a lot of earthquakes, and it puts me in the mind of the words of Jesus in Matthew 24 7. When Jesus said, For nation shall rise against nation, and kingdom against kingdom, and there shall be famines and pestilences, and earthquakes in diverse places. Family, we are seeing the prophetic words of Jesus play out right before our eyes. Now let's look at this. It has now been 122 days since the events of October 7, 2023 inside of Israel. A day that forever changed the history and future of Israel. And guys, the tensions in Israel show no signs of slowing down. And family, we're 62 days away from the Great American Eclipse on April 8th. A day that's going to be very prophetic in nature. And we're 76 days away from Passover, which is April 22nd to April 30th, 2024. And finally, we are 239 days away from Rosh Hashanah, Feast of Trumpets, which begins with the spotting of the new moon on October 2nd, 2024. And family, as you know, every year, Feast of Trumpets is a very high watch time for us. Especially this year, it's going to be an extremely high watch time if we're still here. And finally, family, we're going to close this video out by me rolling you some video footage of the weather that's been whooping California. What you're going to see is the effects of the Pineapple Express system that is currently working its way across the country. And family, this weather system has changed a lot of people's life. It's left a lot of people without power and a state of emergency has been declared in California. Guys, check out this footage right here. and the front yard it is completely flooded as you can see my driveway is starting to flood as well this is what it's looking like right now This rain really has nowhere to go. We're here this morning in Fryman Canyon here in Studio City. This is a road that this morning looks like a raging river and the current here is so strong. If I can flip over here, I just want to show you one of these massive boulders the size of a car tire was caught up in it, brought down here, where it came from, unclear. Alrighty, my beautiful channel family. That's our end time news update for Tuesday, February 6th, 2024. Family, as always, I want to thank you for watching. As we put a lot of time and work into these news update videos, so you guys watching them, it truly means the world to us. 
thank you so much. We love you guys. And family, as we see that day approaching, the Watchman Adam News Channel will continue to bring you the latest end time news. Now family, let me close the video out by saying this. Guys, I know the spiritual warfare is off the charts right now. We're all being attacked very hard by the enemy. He knows his time is short, so he's going after the believers like never before. That's why we got to keep on that full armor of God. And family, remember this. The battle is already won by the blood of Jesus. So no matter what you're going through today, lay it at the feet of Jesus. Like I tell you all the time, don't try to carry baggage that you wasn't designed to carry. Let Jesus carry it for you. Family, we just have to endure a little bit longer. Our blessed hope is about to become a reality. I'll see you in the clouds any day now, guys. Well, family, once again, let me say thank you for watching. I love you guys. And don't forget, give this video a thumbs up and share it because, family, it helps us out so much and we do appreciate it. And, hey, if it's your first time to our channel, smash that subscribe button and join our channel, family. Because, you see, here on this channel, you guys are more than a number. You guys are loved and appreciated, and we pray for you guys on a daily basis. And speaking of prayer, if you have any prayer requests whatsoever, Drop them in the comment section below and we'd be honored to pray over your requests. Because you see family, there's truly power in our prayer. And remember, no request is too big and no request is too small for our God. And I also want to give a special thank you to all our channel members and also our channel manager Mike. Thank you for everything you do brother Mike, we love you. And if any of you guys want to make a donation to Independent News, we have donation links in the description box below. It's always appreciated if you can. But as always, biggest form of support we can get from you guys is you guys' prayers. And we greatly appreciate your prayers. Well, family, to next time, Brother Watchman Adams signing out in 3, 2, 1. I love you. And remember, let's go, Arpazzo. Later, family. Keep on looking up.